I just noticed that only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. So if you enjoy watching this kind of video, join our family it's free, and you can always change your mind later. Thank you, and enjoy watching. Hey guys, welcome to Best Movie Recap. Today I am going to explain a 1997 American action movie called Con Air. Warning. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. Today's movie starts with Cameron Poe, an honorably discharged United States Army Ranger, who finally meets his wife Trisha after months of waiting. Trisha informed Poe that she is pregnant, and he feels so happy with the good news. While he was leaving with his wife three drunks tried to attack him, a fight followed, but Cameron is well trained and manages to beat them all, one of them grabs his knife and tried to stab Poe, but he hit him in the face and killed him. The next day, Cameron Poe is sentenced by 7 to 10 years by a biased judge to a maximum security federal penitentiary for using excessive force and killing a drunk man. In jail, Poe starts weekly exchanging letters with his wife, who sent him pictures of his little daughter Casey. During his sentence, Poe spends most of his time reading books and training inside his cell. Few years later Casey grows up and starts exchanging messages with her father telling him about her daily life. Eight years later, Poe is paroled on good conduct and is scheduled to be flown back to Alabama on the same day as his daughter Casey's seventh birthday. Poe will be flown back home on a C-123 plane known as Jailbird, where he will be released on landing. Several other prisoners will transfer with him on the plane including his diabetic cellmate and friend Baby O. This prison transfer flight is being used by the U.S. Marshal Vince Larkin to transport a number of notorious violent criminals to a new supermax prison. The list includes Billy Bedlam, convicted of murdering his wife's entire family after he caught her in bed with another man. The Diamond Dog, a black supremacist who blew up a meeting of the National Rifle Association, then wrote a book in the prison called Reflections in Diamond Eye. Johnny 23, a serial rapist. Pinball Parker, an armed robber and a drug dealer. And finally, the most violent criminal in the prison system, Cyrus the Virus, who's served time for kidnapping, robbery, murder, and extortion, killed 11 fellow inmates, incited three prison riots, and escaped from prison twice, he also likes to brag that he killed more men than the cancer. While transferring the prisoner to the plane a guard took the picture of Poe's daughter and refused to give it back. Prior to the flight, Larkin is approached by the D-agent Duncan Malloy, who asks to put an undercover agent Willie Sims on board the plane to get more information out of the drug lord Francisco Sandino before he is incarcerated in the new prison. Larkin insists that the agent will not take his gun inside the plane for security measurement. The agent give him his gun, but Malloy was able to sneak Sims another gun during the boarding pat-down. Inside the plane, the guard fouls and tells the prisoners his rules then the flight takes off. Meanwhile, Cyrus and the diamond dog grab pins that were hidden under their hand skin and use them to unlock their handcuffs. Then Cyrus gives a sign to Pinball who gets out from his mouth a capsule containing a match and burning liquid. After that, he tells the man sitting next to him that nothing is personal then he set fire on him. Pinball started screaming and asking for help, then he took advantage of the distraction and steal the keys from Sally Bishop and use them to open the diamond dog cell who get out and start fighting and killing the guards while Cameron was only watching in anger because he can't help. When the guards managed to subdue Jones with the taser, Pinball unlocked the cell of Cyrus who kill a guard then run fast to the cockpit and kills the co-pilot who came out with a gun to settle the riot. During the fight, two prisoners were killed. Then Cyrus quickly takes control of the cockpit to prevent the pilot from reporting the riot and telling the next control center that a small disturbance occurred, but it is under control now. Then Pinball starts uncuffing the prisoners. Johnny 23 goes after the only female guard on the plane, but Poe punches him then Cyrus who also shares a strong disgust towards rapists, joins them and threatens Johnny by throwing him out of the plane if he attempts to rape her. As Pinball unlocks Sim's cuffs he grabs his gun and used Pinball as a hostage then treats Cyrus who used Sally as a shield. Poe recognizes that Sims is at a disadvantage since his hostage is a worthless prisoner like Pinball, also another prisoner was sneaking behind him, Poe tried to convince him to surrender, 
but Sims ignores the advice and got killed by Cyrus. As Cyrus organizes the other prisoners to prepare for a scheduled landing in Carson City. Pinball informs him that some of the prisoners that were scheduled to get off were killed during the takeover. Cyrus asks for volunteers and Babio suggests himself and Poe, but Cyrus refuses Babio and said the guards are expecting white people in the land. Then Poe tells Babio not to worry, because in the transfer he will tell the guards about the takeover and the plane won't leave the airport. But then discovers that they are placing tape over the mouths of the transferees who are getting off as a precaution which means he won't be able to talk. At this moment Poe tells Cyrus that he wants to stay because he still has 15 years left and he doesn't want to regret this opportunity. Cyrus agrees and decides to replace him with Falzon. Poe goes back to his seat and reveals his main reason for staying which is saving Odell's life and protecting Sally from Johnny who attempts to rape her. Going back to the Federal Correctional Institution, two guards were checking the cells of the prisoners and they discovered plans for the plane and some secret messages about a meeting in Carlson City. Larkin tells the guards to avoid touching anything but as he leaves the cell a guard opens a box that has a bomb hidden inside it, all the guards got killed, and Larkin almost got his head cut off. On the other side, Poe spots a recording device on Sim's body. He transfers it to one of the guards Falzon who is now wearing the prisoner clothes and being substituted for dead prisoners hoping it would attract the attention of the guards on the prison bus. Upon landing to refuel and pick up more prisoners to take them to freedom, Cyrus ensures that the prison transfer should go smoothly. Among the new prisoners boarding, we have the drug lord Francisco Sandino, the mastermind of the escape. The transvestite serial killer Ramon Martinez who is known as Sally Can't Dance, the new pilot Williams who is known as Swamp Thing. And the cannibal serial killer Garland Green who is known as the Marietta Mangler, Garland butchered 30 people up and down the eastern seaboard. They say the way he killed those people makes the Manson family look like the Partridge family. Inside the plane, the new pilot removes the plane's transponder and gives it to Pinball who sneaks under the plane then hides the transponder in a tour plane, at this moment a woman saw him, and Pinball starts talking with her. While the prison bus was leaving a guard hit Falzon in the chest, and the recording device fell down, then the guard called the marshal's office, and informed them of the situation, a police officer tried to stop Cyrus, but he shoot him, after seeing the cop's car coming. Then Cyrus heads back to the plane, and orders the pilot to take off, at this moment Pinball hears the plane, he runs fast to catch it but he couldn't. On the plane window, the man who got burned by Pinball earlier saw him, but laugh instead of telling Cyrus. Meanwhile, Larkin and Malloy discover that Poe was the one who sent them the recording device. And Larkin suggests they team up with him, but Malloy refuses and immediately takes off to follow the plane's transponder, which unknown to him was snuck aboard a tour plane. In the meantime, Cyrus tells the Diamond Dog to free Garland Green, but Jones was very scared. After that Poe goes with Jones into the hull to determine the cause of the plane's slow speed and find out that Pinball's body is lodged in the landing wheel compartment. Poe takes the opportunity to write a message on Parker's shirt to Larkin and pushes the body out of the plane, where it lands in the middle of traffic in Fresno, California. Larkin has a meeting with Trisha and Casey to determine why Poe chose to stay on the plane then a call comes in from Fresno police and informs Larkin about the message. Larkin recognizes that the prisoner's plane is headed in the opposite direction to the disused Lerner airfield. Unable to convince Malloy of this information over the radio, he borrows Malloy's Corvette to make it to the field before the plane can land, calling in the National Guard and other forces to help secure the airfield. Going back to the plane Billy stops Poe and questions him saying since you have 15 years left, you are supposed to be in the same block where I was, but I have never seen you there. Poe said I used to spend most of my time in the cell and I wasn't interested in knowing the prisoners there. Aboard the plane, Poe saw Billy going to the hull and followed him. Billy discovers Poe's parole letter in his personal belongings, but before he tells anyone Poe fights him and kills him. At this moment Larkin arrives at Lerner Airport and starts exploring the area. While the plane was landing, the pilot was surprised by a plane on the runway, he managed to avoid it, but the wheels of the plane were stuck in the ground. Outside the plane, 
Poe finds the diamond dog going to kill the guards, he stops him and convinces Cyrus to keep them as hostages in case Sandino tricks them. Meanwhile, all the prisoners were digging to take out the plane at the airfield, Poe pretends he's going to find the fuel, but instead explores the field to find an injection needle for Odell's insulin who is going into a diabetic shock. Larkin saw Poe and go after him. While Poe was looking for the injection needle he got surprised by Sandino's henchman, it turns out that Sandino has double-crossed Cyrus and he was trying to flee on his own. Before shooting Poe, Larkin comes in and Poe takes advantage of the distraction to take down the three henchmen. Larkin and Poe briefly meet and discuss the situation before Poe leaves to find an injection needle. Sandino slips away from the other prisoners to board his plane and has his pilot take off. Larkin manages to disable the plane and the crash alerts Cyrus, who gets angry at what Sandino did then he throws a lit match at the fuel leaking from Sandino's plane, starting a fire and burning Sandino alive. The prisoners observe that armed forces are advancing on the field, Cyrus discovers the small arsenal hidden in the bottom of the plane and Billy's body, and they set up an ambush trap for the forces. Larkin goes off to help stop the troops from being massacred by reactivating an old unused plow and using it to create a makeshift bulletproof shield, while Poe manages to find an injection needle and returns to the plane to give Odell his insulin and manages to stop Johnny from raping Sally. As the troops overrun the trap, Cyrus and the remaining prisoners return to the plane and take off and drag Malloy's car behind it before Poe could escape with Odell and Sally. Cyrus soon discovers Poe's true identity after Jones found Poe's parole letter. After shooting Odell in the stomach who tried to take the blame, Cyrus prepares to kill Poe. Malloy comes in with a helicopter and orders the pilot to open fire on the plane. With Cyrus and the others distracted, shooting from the aircraft's ramp at the helicopters, Poe gains control of the cockpit and tells Larkin not to fire. Then Larkin tells Malloy about Poe's identity as a parolee, and Malloy orders to hold fire. The plan was to land the aircraft at McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas, but the crippled jailbird is forced to crash land on the strip. The landing causes injuries and fatalities among the prisoners, while also causing massive destruction along the strip until it comes to a halt in the lobby of the Sands Hotel. After that Poe is thanked by Odell and Sally for his help as the police arrest the surviving prisoners. In the meantime, Cyrus, Jones, and Williams escape on a fire truck. Larkin and Poe see them trying to flee, then pursue them on motorcycles, eventually killing all three escapees, Jones being hit by Poe's motorbike, Williams hurtling through the windshield, and being run over after Larkin floods the inside of the fire truck with water from the fire hose, and Cyrus after being beaten by Poe, and handcuffed to the fire ladder then sent flying after the truck crashes leaving Cyrus to be crushed by a pile driver in a nearby construction site. Poe is finally able to reunite with his loving wife and daughter, who have been brought by Larkin to meet him. In the last scene of the movie, a croupier at a craps table in one of the Vegas casinos asks a new shooter if he feels lucky. The shooter reveals to be Garland Green who was the only prisoner who managed to escape. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the like button and turn on the notifications bell.